So today I'm going to talk about the current market cap, three different altcoins, one coin that recently finished its ICO and another that's in the middle of the public sale, and then two pieces of market news and we start now. Welcome to another video of Altcoin Pigs. If this is your first time here and you want to keep up with everything crypto, then smash that subscribe button. And of course, please smash that like button. Also, don't forget to check out our Twitter where we've been posting daily everything we can think of, whether it's questions, suggestions, video ideas, ICOs that we love and that are upcoming and we're excited about. Also, our Discord is getting a completely new makeover. We're making it more immersive. We're adding a level system where the more active you are, the higher level you get, and the higher level you get, we'll add prizes just to kind of help jumpstart the community and make sure they're active. We'll have a lot more information coming in the next few videos. Anyways, here we go. So first, let's check out the market cap. We're looking at 364 billion right now. On May 10th, it looks like we were around 440 billion, reaching about 470 billion on May 6th. So this week, we've seen some pretty big ups and downs. Right now, we're hurting. And it seems that the bears are kind of taking a hold of the market. I know most of us hate seeing this. It's actually kind of funny. One of my team members in my project seems to always get in right before the market crashes. <laughs> he pretty much seems like like bad luck almost. Anyways, so right now I'm still super excited for the potential of this market. So keep dollar cost averaging on the coins you love and be ready when the bulls take over. So the first altcoin I want to look at is POA Network. So I've actually never talked about POA Network and... Right now it's at 42 cents and it hit around 95 cents on May 10th. So if you bought then, that's a huge drop. We're looking at over 50% from its all time high. So anyone that bought at that 95 cent range, then you're probably extremely disappointed. And it's actually the coin that my, my teammate bought. So he's not very happy. He, granted, he did buy it at around 69 cents. That's also when I did buy it. So I'm actually super disappointed with POA right now. I still think POA is an awesome project, which will be recovering once everything else does. So I'll probably dollar cost average if it hits around the 35 cent range. Granted, again, I have not talked about this one yet, but I will be covering it soon. Or Nate, which he hasn't done a video yet. You will see him soon. So if you haven't checked it out, then Go check it out. This one is a sleeper. I think this one will do some big things. And right now it is mad cheap. Next, we have WAN Chain. So <laughs> we all know that this is one of my favorite projects. I've been doing this since my very first video. And right now it is getting hammered at $5.07. It hit $9.92 on May 3rd. And right now sitting at $5.07. Actually, when I was looking at doing this video and doing the research, it was actually at $5.29. So it's gone down 20 cents in the last hour. This is a drastic drop and it's crazy how much the market is getting destroyed right now. I'm pretty sure this is very close to 50% from its all time high, which is so disappointing and hard to see as someone that's invested in love WAN chain. So I know it was bound to correct. I will say it's correcting a lot more than I hoped. If this goes below $5, I will probably increase my bags. And it looks like we're super close to that. Again, this is definitely one of the top projects. It's around rank 42. I personally believe, and I know many people believe this will be a top 10 coin. They have a few ICOs that are coming out soon, which one I am super excited about and I will be talking about in a few videos. Also, I'm thinking that if this could really push with some great ICOs that are successful, maybe it has a chance to hit that Neo's market cap a lot sooner than we all expected. I guess we'll see, right? The last of the altcoins I want to talk about is Buy Box Token. So this one's actually gone up while everything else has been crashing. So it was around 77 cents, 73 cents in the beginning of May, 74. It's a dollar 18 right now. Now it was $1.22 when I was doing my research about an hour ago, but that's still a huge jump while everything is going down to 50% from its all-time high. Buy box token has been going up almost times two. <laughs> so this one I think is a huge sleeper. You look at KuCoin and its price. This one has so much more volume. 
so much more potential in my opinion but i guess we'll see right next let's talk about unibright so this one has finally got on coin market cap they released their tokens on may 20th and it began trading on idex the volume isn't huge it was about 2 million a couple days ago we're looking at a little under 1 million now for being on such a short period of time trading and on idex that's not too bad so i am a bit disappointed with this project with the news that came out that the circulating supply will be around 141 million they only sold around 97 million tokens during the ico so i was a bit thrown off by this either way i'm super bullish on this coin as you can see it's actually almost hitting ico which is super surprising super disappointing this one needs a good exchange it needs KuCoins. coins it needs buy box we'll see what happens there i'm i'm hoping for for that to happen soon those in my opinion are realistic expectations for the coin to hit next let's talk about phantasm so this was the super hyped 10 million dollar hard cap neo ico that everyone was excited about i made a video about i was super excited to get involved the first day was a 10 neo cap super low it's almost one ethereum and then the next day was a 50 neo cap well first day happened people submitted their neo then they decided to postpone their public sale because they detected an issue with their smart contract they stated the sale will not be continuing today but will be postponed to the near future Every whitelist participant who hasn't contributed yet will have 24 hours to buy soul tokens when it starts again. The correct, of, the correct amount of tokens were distributed to whitelist individuals who already participated. So I don't know what's happening here. Sounds like they have an issue. The ICO was going flawless. The Telegram was able to completely mute the channel during the sale. I'm assuming it was because of their bot, something that every ICO needs to do. Super important. Still, I'm super impressed by their whole ICO process. I hope they're able to get everything right and do great. So our first piece of news, we have the mayor of South Korea's capital of Seo, I think that's how you say it, pledged to increase support for blockchain development as he pitches for re-election in June. So Mayor Park Wonsoon has been mayor since 2011 and is seeking his third term in office, announcing his commitment to help the city's Mapo district become a center for blockchain incubation. He pledged to turn one of the complexes, Mapo Fintech Lab, into a, de into a dedicated hub for fintech and blockchain development. This is consistent with his remarks in April where he claimed that the city would seek to apply blockchain tech across various public services, including municipal administration and government subsidy management, to increase convenience for the public and governance transparency. So earlier this month, Park also revealed his plan to develop the city's own cryptocurrency called S-Coin, which would be used in city-funded social benefit programs. He's also indicated that Seo could launch a dedicated fund to support the growth of blockchain startups. So this is great to see. The more support we have for crypto, the better it is for the whole entire market as a whole. I love seeing news like this, and I'm sure everybody else does too. So for our next piece of news, we have Ohio. They may be the latest U.S. state to legally recognize smart contracts and records stored on the blockchain, according to Senate Bill 300, introduced by Senator Matt Dolan which would amend sections of the Uniform Electronics Bills Act to include blockchain records and smart contracts as electronic records. The bill would allow for smart contracts to be legally enforceable as any other contract may be. Most notable, the bill amends language in another section about electronic contracts to include that smart contracts may exist in commerce. Existing laws already state that a contract may not be denied legal effect or enforceably solely because an electronic record was used in its formation existing laws already state that a contract may not be denied legal effect or enforceability solely because an electronic record was used in its formation the senate bill 300 adds or because the contract contains a smart contract term meaning smart contracts can be used for legal documents so if the Senate Bill 300 is signed into law, Ohio would join Arizona and possibly California, Florida, and Tennessee, among other states, in recognizing both blockchain transactions and smart contracts for electronic records. Of course, we love seeing this. The more states that come and support blockchain, the better. U.S. is one of the hardest on crypto, and it's awesome it's amazing to see them working together to actually recognize it and to see the potential in crypto. 
That's my video. We looked at some market news, a few altcoins, two ICOs, one that recently came out and one that's in public sale right now, or kind of, right? <laughs> then two pieces of crypto news that were super exciting, super positive, super awesome to see because we know acceptance is coming. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, subscribe and check out our Twitter, check out our Discord. Both of them are linked in the description below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.